Kirsten Tullis is a magician, not in the Chris Angel, David Copperfield mould, but in the sense that she can breathe life into animals that have, well, gone to the big zoo in the sky. You know how some cars look fast, even though they're standing still? Well, that's Kirsten's craft as a taxidermist, to take these animals that aren't with us anymore and make it look as if they're in full flight or running flat out where they need to. Kirsten has been doing this for over 30 years and her work isn't restricted to the animal world. We all enjoy a stuffed mushroom. But she's taken that idea to the next level completely. Kirsten, taxidermist preserves the animals but also creates the scenery yes. that we get to see them yeah, in. Yeah, a museum diorama. Hmm. The idea is to put your animal into an, an environment that the visitor to come, can come and have a look at. Yeah, a lot of people don't get to see our native animals, certainly in the wild, and so the museum is a, um, a vessel to come and, and see um, specimens that, that look real. Different animals require different techniques. You can't use the same approach to stuff a possum when you're preparing a jellyfish. Kirsten, it's an art form presenting uh, an animal that isn't with us anymore and allowing it to live. What's the process? Well, first you need to get a dead bird, and we've got one, that, a dead bird here. That's dead. Yep, and uh, we keep them in the freezer until we need to use them, mm -hmm. and we defrost them, and then we take the skin off and make uh, an artificial body for them, like this. You recreate um, a body that's about the si same size and shape as the original. How would you describe your job? Well, it's a mixture of art and science and a big amount of creativity and a love of nature as well. Taxidermy is such an important part of any museum's work, especially when you consider animals becoming extinct. These days, stuffed examples of thylacines are probably the best way you'll get to see what a Tasmanian tiger once looked like. So when you're at the WA Museum next, just tip your hat to Kirsten and those like Kirsten that came before that gave us these wonderful examples of animals that once lived here. Because without them, we'd be stuffed.